A little bit about Mark, hard worker, behind the scenes, uh, excellent example, uh, heart of a servant, and uh, he's gone home. A life dedicated to serving his community and pouring into students. That was Mark Boswell. Mr. Boswell was the bus driver killed in last week's crash involving Andrews High School marching band. Hearts are heavy for a man so beloved by his community. Sammy Steele was at his celebration of life today. Sammy. Good evening, Tatum. Today was a moving and emotional day as the community of Andrews remembered the life of Mark Boswell, who leaves behind his wife of 47 years, three children and four grandchildren. Now his family tells me that Mark, he didn't want a funeral. He wanted a celebration of life. And today he got just that. You know, everything he did was out of love. A life spent loving others. He was the kind of person, if something was important to you, it was important to him. Is a life well lived. To see this many people show up uh, just for him. That was Mark Boswell. A true pillar of a community shown in the number of people in attendance at his memorial. The 69 year old left a positive impact on just about everyone around him. I see leadership in my son and that's all because of my dad. But as many people pointed out today, Mark was too humble to admit it. And we've heard all day today about his servant heart and being behind the scenes. And that was him. He never wanted, he would be so upset right now seeing everybody in here. If he thought that we were doing anything out of the normal for him, yeah, he'd give us some of his wisdom. Mark was a retired math teacher from Andrews ISD, but his work was far from over. In retirement, he was the official statistician for the football team, a timer for swim team meets, and drove buses for AISD sports and extracurricular activities. Uh, we as an eldership here are going to be uh, having to work double time, trying to figure out what we're supposed to do, because that's what Mark did. And when he wasn't helping students, he was serving as an elder for Andrews Church of Christ. I mean, Dad knew that church was important. He knew his faith was important, and um, he knew people were important. And I know he wants to be here, but at the same time, he's he's where he wanted to be. He's worked his whole life to get there, and he did do it because he needed to work to get to heaven. Dad did it because, because he had heaven. Before his celebration wrapped up, Mark's family and friends put out a call to action. And to challenge all of us, myself included, that when we leave here today, we're celebrating Mark's life, but what greater celebration could it be if we go back to our worlds and we become the Mark in our worlds, just like he was the Mark in our world. What exactly does that look like? Just get involved in your community. Go to your next door neighbor and learn their name. Tell them you love them. Get to know them. Be, be where your feet are. Be, show God's love where your feet are. And, and you, we don't need grand gestures. We just need to take it from now and just show little, little rays of love and maybe we can become more of a loving environment that, uh, that dad and always envisioned. If you're feeling called to, the Boswells have set up donations for some of the nonprofits and missions that Mark was passionate about. You can also plant a tree in his honor. But the biggest thing that the Boswell family wants West Texans to do, channel your inner Mark in your everyday life. In Andrews, I'm Sammy Steele. Back to you.